Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about some of my favorite Maybelline products. Lately I've noticed Maybelline has really been killing it in the game of makeup right now. Like they are really coming through with a lot of great quality products. Um, I feel like they've really stepped their game up in terms of competition with other makeup brands. But right now Maybelline is just really really doing it. So without further ado let's get into the video. Alright, so some of the products um, that I'm going to be mentioning have been previously mentioned in my, one of my previous videos on how to slay and save the coins. So I'll just kind of gloss over those really quickly. So to start, this is once again the primer that I spoke about in the previous video. This is for blurring and smoothing. Love this. And I love the consistency. I actually just use a little bit of this. So it comes out white like this. If you can see that. And a little bit actually goes a long way. So I just kind of rub it in. Good. It kind of gets a little tacky too. Sometimes I like to tap it into the skin before I rub, but it serves its purpose really well. Foundation, I've already spoke about this before. This is the Fit Me Matte Poreless. Now they do have this in different variations. For me, like I said uh, before, I am really oily, so I prefer the Matte Poreless. But I know for me, when I go on freelance, um, I sometimes present with Andrew Christian, um, and I do men's makeup. Um, for men, and the look that they're going for. I don't particularly like to use the matte and poreless just because I feel like it has more of a makeup look. So I actually go for the dewy and smooth. Um, I love, love the finish. Um, it looks great in pictures. It looks really natural. It's really soft. So I recommend the dewy and smooth found, uh, foundation. For those of you guys that are a little bit more on the dry to normal side, um, if you're oily, I suggest the matte and poreless. They have this in a ton of colors. Maybelline actually has a great range of shades for this product, actually. Um, I just saw that they extended their shades. There's a super duper deep, deep dark shade. I think it's really great for all of you guys and girls that are out there that have really, really deep, rich skin tones. Maybelline actually really caters to um, that now. So that's one thing that I can say is a major plus for Maybelline. Um, they've really, really been making... A, taking a chance to kind of reach out to broaden their audience and make sure that they can kind of cater to any and everybody. So I think that's a great plus for the company. Good job. Kudos to you guys, Maybelline. Um, for powders, um, once again, I did speak about the compacts. This is the older formulation. This is what the newer one looks like. These are super affordable. I already talked about that before. Um, these, like I said, are such a great powder. Um, they come in a variety of shades. I believe the deepest shade, which is 360, this is what I actually used to contour with. If you haven't tried these, you have to try these. And recently, I just discovered these guys here. I actually bought these in four colors, but I'm only holding two up here. This is Dark 40, which is the deepest shade. And this is 35 Deep, which is the second to um, deep, last deepest shade. These are loose powders. And I just love, first of all, can we just talk about the packaging for a second? I mean... This looks super duper high end. I love this. I love this square packaging. It's packaging. It's super chic. If you're freelancing, this is super duper good. It's really good. This is portable. You can stash these in your makeup kit. Um, they just look really cute. I love the formula. These are good for setting makeup. For a highlighter, I did speak about this before. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter, and this is in molten gold. Love this. I love the etching. It looks super high end. This is only $7.99 at Target, so you guys have to try this. For eyeliner, I did previously speak about these in my other video. These are the Lasting Drama Maybelline Eye Pencils. Sorry. I have these in like every color. I absolutely love these. So they've got nude, copper, they've got purple, blue, green, teal. I actually just used the teal recently in my waterline. And I smudged it out with some blue eyeshadow. It was super duper pretty. These are waterproof. Absolutely love these. So they're not going anywhere. They won't budge. Once you put them on, they're there until you take them off. Absolutely love these. These are a great buy. These are actually good too. I actually just used the blue one. These are good for lid primers too. So let's say you're doing like a smoky blue eye. Put this on first before you put your blue eyeshadow on. I trust me, this will definitely help your the saturation of your shadow. It'll just make it pop even more. So this is a good thing. This is double duty, guys. Liner and also eye primer. Another liner. I already spoke about this. This is the gel liner. Super duper good. Lasts all day. It doesn't budge until you take it off. You have to try this if you haven't already. And last, we have lips. Oh, no, wait. Forgot about concealer. I already talked to you guys about the Master Conceal. A little goes along with this. It is a thicker formulation, so if you're not used to a thicker formulation, you might not like this. But if you do, what I recommend, if you do want to try it, I would suggest doing maybe dots. I usually do three. I usually do one, two, three here. Blend it out with the Beauty Blender, a blender or my finger, and it does the trick. But once again, it is, like I said, it is very thick. But I like a thick kind of full coverage concealer. That's the look I like. 
And last but not least, we have lips. I feel like Maybelline's definitely been killing the game when it comes to lipsticks and lip glosses. And they have a ton of different colors, shades, variations. They've got matte, they've got metallic, they've got shimmery, they've just got everything. I am obsessed with them. For mattes, this is, just to show you guys, this is Beige Babe. I love the packaging. It's kind of a matte frosty packaging. This is Beige Babe. It's a little light for me, but I do like this. I'll just go ahead and mix it with maybe some of my other nudes, but this was such a great buy. This is actually what I'm wearing right now. This is Truffle Tees. This is from um, their nude line. I wear this all the time. I can't stop wearing this. I love this. I have this line in, I think I want to say, all the colors except for two. They have pretty much a nude to suit every skin tone. And they've got some great lip glosses and, lip, and liquid lipsticks. Liquid lipsticks are all the rage and everybody's wearing them. I'm more of a traditional kind of tube lipstick kind of person. But for those of you that do like liquid lipstick, you might want to try this. Um, the only thing I have to say about this one is it does have a little bit of a funny smell to it, but it is super duper pigmented. It's a super affordable. It's only $6.99, so try this. It's not like you're like throwing away money. And you guys did already, I did talk about this. I had this out in the, viv in the beginning of the video. This is the Vivid Hot Lacquer Lip Gloss. You guys have to try this. It's super duper amazing. So thank you so much guys for watching. Go out and try some of these and see what works for you. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like this video. Thank you. See you guys next time. Um, once again, for starters, um, this is the Master Prime Makeup Studio. This is the P Master Prime by Face. So for starters, this is the primer by Maybelline. So for starters, this is the Master Prime primer. This is in, um, so for, to start, this is, once again, the primer that I spoke about in the, so, uh, this is really, this is really, it's really good, it's portable, you can just pack these. And then this one is from there.